Like it feels like a fever. Apparently Valkyrie had a nightmare about me. Fever dream. <gasps> oh my god, I forgot to tell you guys about my nightmare last night. I had a nightmare and it was the worst nightmare and it was Ludwig. Ludwig. <laughs> okay. Hurtful, right? Oh, let's think about how our words could hurt people. Uh, we didn't. We just said things. Okay, great. It was it, it was just like such a nightmare because I feel like it could have happened. Like it felt real. Okay, all right. It could have happened and it involves me. Let's let me let's digest what she says and see if we think that I would have done what she's about to say. Let me tell you guys. Okay. My nightmare. So I had just won a dirt bike race and I won a free Xbox. What part of this is believable? <laughs> we have already ventured into unbelievable territory. Both her winning a dirt bike race and then the, the prize being an Xbox is also unbelievable. I was really excited. I remember in my dream feeling like this is the first time I have a, an item after the fire. There was a fire where a long time <laughs> ago... What? 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 This is the first time I've had an item after a fire. Okay, so she had a fire. So this is like a fucking Disney Channel movie. She had a fire, burned all her house down. She's obsessed with riding dirt bikes. She's a dirt bike rider. She wins. She finally gets an Xbox, and she's able to start a collection of items again, like fucking Ariel. Ludwig lit my room on fire by lighting a candle. And... So I come back to my place. I'm living in this like weird apartment building where there's a bunch of other streamers and stuff. And I have people over like Mia, Leslie, Hassan was there and Ludwig was there too. And it was like a streamer apartment weird place. And in my setup. I wouldn't live with them. I just, I candidly, I wouldn't live. Already, I would not live with them. Are you kidding me? <laughs> there's no universe. There's no universe in a streamer room. I could never. There is a drawer and Ludwig is using my setup to stream. He, as he's streaming from my setup, he takes a candle, lights the candle and puts it in the drawer. And I asked him, I was like, Ludwig, you already lit my room on fire. Please don't do this again. What? 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 How many layers deep? I've already done it. That's insane! How'd I already do it? Okay, all right, the two time. The two time of YouTube, people call me that. It is a real name, I get a lot. Like, I'm begging you, I just got this free Xbox and I'm really excited for it. I lost everything and I don't want to lose it. Wait, 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 wait. Rewind, now I'm catching up. She had a bunch of stuff. I lit her fucking room on fire, it all burned down. She finally does a dirt bike race, to, race, wins it, to get her first item back in Xbox, and then invites me? Not only that, I live with her still? If I burned her house down, we would not be roommates anymore. Like, that's enough to not be roommates anymore. Am I crazy? I burn your fucking house down, and then I'm holding a candle, and your, all, your, all, your only reaction is, oh, not again. Enough with the condos. I'm not victim blaming. No, I am victim blaming because she's not a victim. And he's like, Ray, it's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's fine. And then instantly my room is in flames and I'm freaking out in my dream. I'm freaking out. And I'm, I'm, tell I'm yelling at everyone. I'm yelling at me. And I was like, please grab some stuff and take it out. Take everything you can and take it out of my room, please. I bet I help. My room's on fire and I'm freaking out. I bet I help. Take some out. The only thing I grabbed from my room was a real, I have a pile of not important documents, but they're documents that I feel like I could throw away, but I'm not quite sure if I could throw them away actually in my room that life advice you can throw away any document at any point never think about it twice trust the words out of my mouth burn them all of the documents manifested in my dream and that's the only pile I took out of my burning room was this pile of paper that actually exists, but I don't know if I should throw it away or not kind of papers. You know, those kind of papers that it's like, they're, they're like kind of important, but not really at all. Like they just sit there. And so I took that pile of paper out of my room and I remember being so disappointed that that was the only thing I grabbed out of my room. I go back into my room that's on fire. Ludwig is so nervous 
and he's so stressed out that he caused another fire in my room <laughs> that he proceeds to vomit all over my legs and my feet. <laughs> what, dude? Why is Dream Ludwig such a fucking baby back and excuse my gendered language? Biatch. What is this? I just set her house on fire twice and throw up on her? Like, what? It, I have zero, and, and count it, zero, like, good good skills. I'm just the worst human. And in my dream, we're in my room, and it's smoky, it's burning. I'm pissed off. Maybe I'm, I'm trying to put the fire out. And that's what she didn't consider, is I'm trying to act as the fire hose I just misfired on some hose. <laughs> Sorry, inappropriate. inappropriate. So sad. Inappropriate. I'm sobbing no, no, no. in my Obviously. dream because Obviously. not only did this bitch light my room. Okay, on now she called me the B word. Oh, uh, claws are out. Claws are out. <laughs> okay. I was having fun with this. Now the claws are out. On fire again. He threw up all over my legs and on my feet. And I remember seeing it in my dream and just looking at him in disgust. Like, how could you do this to me? And uh, then I woke up. That was the nightmare I had last night. <laughs> it's not a nightmare. It was horrible. No, if anything, it's like it a- It was so horrible. No, it's like a good- It was all Ludwig's fault. Bonding experience. It's not my fault, because I didn't do anyway, it. I, I wasn't there. I can't believe I forgot to tell you guys my dream. That was so crazy. It, you could have not told him, because I- Yeah, I, it was just kind of cool. Like winning a free Xbox. Like I won the dirt bike. Why didn't rig. you- I thought the story was going to end with- like her bringing the Xbox. Ludwig will have so much fun reaction to this. It's not fun. BQV9I318. Nothing fun about being accused of being an arsonist. Although I will say, oh my God. So when I was in middle school, we were charged with the task of doing a radio play for one of my classes, which is basically like the worst form of media before they had good forms of media like TV and movies. Uh, and what our, our radio play was being done at my friend Reed's house. So we pull up to my friend's Reed house, Reed's house. We're, we're working on the radio play. I see homies got matches on the counter and instantly I see the matches and without even talking to him, I just walk up and I go, and I just stare at it until it like goes down to its nub. And then I like throw it over my head and then I, and then I walk away. And, uh, and then we go upstairs, and like 30 minutes pass, and we're working on the radio play. And by that, I mean we're playing uh, floor hockey. And then his mom comes home, and she, she I've never heard a, a louder yell. She shouts, she goes, Rick! Rick! And he sprints downstairs, eyes wide open, and I'm like, oh my god, this motherfucker did something bad. And then his mom just starts chewing him out, and I'm hearing it. And then, and but I, but like I hear little words like through the through the wall. You know, it's kind of like one of those like, uh, it's like one of these videos. Listening to, you know, Blink One Eighty Two while your parents are fighting in the other room. You guys can all judge me if you want. Uh, anyway, uh, I I hear I hear them yelling, and she's like she's like she's like who a little fucking match. Who let a fucking match in this house? And then Reed's like, it was Ludwig. And she's like, bring him down here right now. And then I get chewed out for lighting a match. And she was just pissed. She was like, that was so dumb of you. You could have burned the house down. And I was like, bro, I like the smell of matches. You're being weird. It's a good smell. So, I, you know, it's somewhat realistic I would burn down Ray's house. It's unrealistic that I would burn it down twice, though. 